Hi, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And this is a NYX haul, NYX Cosmetics haul. If you like to see the stuff I got from NYX, please keep on so, The stuff that's in this um, video is just from one brand. It's all NYX stuff. And I picked it up at a NYX kiosk at Long Circular Mall. I went to the NYX kiosk in Trin City like three times and nobody was there. So I decided to, since I was in Port of Spain a day, to make a trip to the one at Long Circular Mall. And I purchased these things. And I must warn you, this is a pretty huge haul. It is, um, I was saving up some money to splurge on myself. And I just really decided to just go ahead and use it on the next stuff. So if you like to see the stuff I got from NYX, please keep on Alright, so it's a lot of lip products. That's like always what I gravitate to. I need to stop. I know I just have two lips. But yeah, so I got, let's start with these. I got um, these two soft matte lip creams. This one is in Tokyo and this one is in Milan. I have Milan already and I think it's just a gorgeous color and I actually picked this up for a friend. But these are the soft matte lip creams and these are absolutely gorgeous and amazing. The next two that I picked up are actually the Mega Shine Lip Gloss. This looks so gorgeous. I feel like everyday wear. This one is called Gold Pink. And let me swatch it for you guys. This looks so gorgeous. It's like you can wear this alone with just a hint of color. And these things smell amazing. So if you just want, like, you know, just a hint of color and, a, you know, just a gloss. Nothing crazy. That. And then this one is called Burgundy. And I thought this was just going to be really great for the coming season to wear. Um, I'm thinking of actually gifting this stuff friend that, she, that usually wears those things on a regular basis. So I'm not going to swatch that for you. Next we have three lipsticks. These are just the round lipsticks. They're called Lip Smacking Fun Colors. And this one is in Gardenia. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is what Gardenia looks like. I may gift this one with the lip gloss, the Mega Shine. I'm not totally sure yet. Um, this one is Gala, which is like a nice soft color. I'm thinking it's going to go really great like these two together. And you can see this is just like a pale pink. I thought it would have been a little more creamier than what it's watching here. And then this one is Castle, which looks gorgeous. This looks like such a great muted color. And oh my god, yes it is. I may need to go and get another one of this. This is like a perfect mauve color. Wow. Oh my gosh. I just watched it and I told a girl I want this one. And um, this is what it looks like. This one is called Castle. Wow. This is like a gorgeous mauve color. I love it. Like a nice lilac mauve. Yeah. Gorgeous. Wow. Great. The, oh my gosh. Ah, let's, let's continue. Let's continue because I'm just going to go continue going crazy. So I picked up this burgundy lip liner to go with that lip gloss because that one is called burgundy but um, I'm hoping it's going to go. So like I'm thinking these three I'm going to just package together for a friend. Her birthday is coming up so give it to her as a gift. And then this one is sand pink. I really wanted a nice pink color and I swatched it while I was there and I was like oh my gosh this is like such a perfect pink. It's very similar to... Um, Super stop. This is more pink, where that one is a little more um, lavender, I think. Lavender or lilac. And then there's this one in beige, because a friend recommended it to me as a nice neutral color. So that's it there. I've actually worn this um, under a nude like lipstick already, because you can see I have used this. I um, really like this, so I think that might be a def. Those are definitely keepers. Still with lips. <sighs> Kind of embarrassed to show you guys this, but let's go on nonetheless. These are the butter glosses. Yes, the butter glosses. The butter glosses. I have more. I bought the whole collection. Slightly embarrassing, right? But I was like, oh my gosh, crazy. Because one of my very, very good friends who works for NYX, she was like, Ruana, you have to get the butter glosses. You have to get them. 
they're super amazing if you don't get anything else from NYX ever again get the butter glosses so I was like OMG I want all so I got all like I said in the video and the beginning part I saved up money for this I um, had a little fun I was just you know thinking I was just use it to splurge and stuff and then when I saw these I'm like I'm gonna splurge on these so I got all 10 so this one is called Meringue. I hope I'm not doing injustice to the names. And um, this is like a muted pink. Not so much of a Barbie pink here. But it looks Barbie pinkish out of all of the others. Then this one is Cherry Pie, which is the hottest red. If you want a video with swatches of all of these, let me know. But I plan to do a blog post. Then this one is Strawberry Parfait, which looks like, um, like a hot pink. Then we have... This one is called Peach Cobbler and it's that like um peachy orangish color. And if you thought I was orange, no, there's an orange one called Cherry Cheesecake, which is like the orange colored one. And still like like more to me peach than the other one is more like a really bold peach kind of color. But this one to me looks more peachy. This is apple strudel. So yeah. Then we have, this is like a nice muted color, vanilla cherry, cherry pie, cream pie, vanilla cream pie, which I heard is amazing. A lot of people rave about that one. A lot of people rave about these two, I find, because I've heard a lot about these two. And that is meringue and vanilla cream pie. And this one is the nude in the bunch, and it's tiramisu. This is the brown. have not used any of these, because I always like to try and keep these things to do a whole video first, then do... <sighs> then use them if I like mix them up in my collection like I was saying I like will forget like I had in my wonderful wool haul I had like a nonity and polish that I had out and I think I had something else but I already started using it so I didn't remember this one is called creme brulee and this is like a next nude and then the last one this one is called eclair which is like a pinky nude so you have like your peachy nude pinky nude and then you like your brown nude kind of thing so I don't know which one will get more use. So I'm not sure how real they are to... Oh yeah, they're pretty real to the color that's in there. At least this one is. So yeah, I will do a review if you guys are interested on these butter glosses. So, one face item. And this is the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Love and Primer. Wanted to try this out because everybody talks about this. And I have not tried it, and they say it's better than the Smashbox, or is the same as, as the Smashbox. I love the Smashbox. The Sephora brand is very similar to the Smashbox, so I use that one also. <sighs> I just want to see. So I have um, four eye pencils. This one says it's like eye and eyebrow pencil. This is brown, because you know I'm into brows, thingies, now again. But this one, the girl told me it's going to be nice. But I can see it's already red. And I go with more like a taupe. So this might end up being like an eyeliner. I don't know. Of course, I went with a black. Because everybody says this is nice. Just wanted to try it. As, these were $25, I think. Then this one is dark brown. Which is the darker brown there. And then this one is silver. And I wanted this because of wanting to do a smoky eye, uh, not smoky eye, um, like a kiss, I'm like a smoky eye with it, with like a silver smoky eye. So I got this one. So last item I got, I don't know why I'm speaking like this, really, why, was this palette. And I, you know, these are the new um, NYX Love in Paris palettes. And look how absolutely cute this thing is. It has a bow. Like really. And it's nine eyeshadows. And this one is called Merci Beaucoup. My French. I don't know French. But this one is L-I-P-09. I guess that's Love in Paris. 09 Merci Beaucoup. Nine color eyeshadow palette. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it's still sealed. I have not even opened it. But I swatched the tester for this. And this was amazing. I really wasn't going to buy it. And my son was like, Mommy... This is so you. This is so, so you. you. I don't know. He was like, you have to buy it. And they're such enablers. 
Um, so this is what it comes with. You get like a really dark, and this is why I think this is really like me. Um, you get like a dark kind of gray kind of taupe color. Then this is a matte cream color. Then you have that cranberry color, a nice peachy frosty color. Then you have like a brown color here, dark brown. Then this is almost like a satin or a matte brown. Then you have a shimmery cream kind of color. Then your bronzy color here and then a more peachy golden color. But can you see this? This is like so me for work. And I this was I think $62 or $65. I don't know. This looks I have to I swatch it and I loved it. So I'm excited to try it. So you may see almost all these things in next week's basket, but um now that I have done the video, I'm really excited to try these. So, yeah, if you want to review, like I see on any of these items, leave a comment below and I will do it for you guys. I hope you enjoy this whole video. I'm like so loving this lip color. Can't get over that. Ooh, I'm just loving it. So, yeah, until next video. I have like two or three more hauls videos to do. Yeah, I am thinking of Project Pan. It's like a ring in the back of my head, but I think I will just have to learn to control myself. But really want to get these things. And I thought I'll just dive into a little splurge. So, yeah, that's why I did. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video on my next haul. So, until next time. Bye.